I know you have a story in Face Off. Right. What, what can you tell us about that? Right. So that was a collaboration with Lee Child. Oh, cool. And so he, we took his uh, Jack Reacher character and my Nick Heller character and put them together. And, and it's, it is interesting because Lee and I work really differently. Like he, okay. I outline all my stories in advance. He never does an outline. Uh, he also, he had an idea for the story, which I thought was kind of cool. There's two guys meeting at a bar and looking in the mirror, in the back of the bar, they're able to see someone approaching. And so because of that, they're both sort of forewarned about something. So it really is, it's sort of, pairing the two off, one against the other, as to who's going to figure out what's going on first. Oh, cool. So anyway, it was, it, was, it was a good story. Oh, fun. So yeah. how did you write that together? How did that work? So <laughs> Lee wrote the first part, and he, he's, then he sent it to me. So it was around, I don't know, 500 words. Okay. He sent it to me, and I looked at it, and I said, uh, okay, now what? And I wrote back to him. I said, all right, Lee, what do you see happening next? And he said, I have no idea. It's up to you. So we basically played by his rules, okay. which were there was no outline. Okay. So, so that's different to so how you, you completely normally Completely different from the way I normally work. I really wanted to know, but it turned out to be fun. I mean, it was kind of, for me, a little more stressful. I would sort of make something up and then not know if that's the direction he wanted to go in until I realized, wait a second, I can do whatever I want. I can spin this story in a whole different direction if I want to. Lee has to play. And he got it, so it was it was it worked really well. Oh, cool! Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to read it. Yeah. And um, you have a new book out called Suspicion. That's right. And it's it's recommended by R. L. Stein. Um, what can I you tell us about it? That. Isn't that, yeah. that so? He recommended the, the the ending of the book, or was it something Just like the that? whole book? He said that it's it's one of the best books he's read of the genre recently, oh and that people should read it if um, you know it's to sort of take a class on how to write a good thriller. <laughs> that is really sweet. That's really nice. And he said he's told you, though, that it's one of the best books you've ever written. Yeah, but, but I sort of figured he told, if, he tells, if he tells a class in public, that's, yeah, that's a whole yeah. different deal. Yeah. I figured he was telling me to make me feel good. Uh. I, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. And he said that you agree, that you said, yes, I, it, it is one of the best books I've written. I said it was one of the best that I'd written, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that you've written. I thought it was the best that I'd written, yeah. I mean, I sort of feel that you have to keep getting better. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, so. this was, that was my 11th book. And okay. with each book, I try to do something different. I try to make it better than the last one and not get stuck in a rut. Yeah. Yeah, that probably makes it more exciting for it's more you. more exciting for the author, you know, if, if there's a challenge with each book. Right. Right. Yeah. So what was the challenge you set for yourself with, with Suspicion? I wanted this to be pretty much a, 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 a sort of a love story between a father and a daughter and a, within a thriller. So it really is about this dad who is trying to protect his daughter and as a result of that dynamic is, gets into incredibly serious trouble. He basically takes a loan to help pay for his daughter's school and then it turns out that the person he took the money from might be connected to a Mexican drug cartel. And now he's being squeezed in all directions. So, and, and his life is in danger. So that's the, that's the basic, the beginning of the story. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds intriguing. Yeah. Now, did you do a lot of research for that on Mexican drug cartels? I did. I did I, what I do is I talk to people who know a lot more than I do. I talk to people in the DEA. I talk to uh, people who would were in the agency and people who used to be in the agency and I would say to them, all right, now, what would happen at this point? What would a character do? What would a DEA agent do? Try to make this as real as possible for me. The reason I do this is because I want to basically get plot ideas from these guys. Oh. Really, it's, it's the greatest way to sort of figure out a new angle, a new idea for a scene is to talk to someone who's actually been through it. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. And now, I know a lot of your books have been turned into movies, like High Crimes. Right, High Crimes with uh, Morgan Freeman and Ashley Judd was based on my book, High Crimes. And a movie called Paranoia with Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman and Liam Hemsworth came out last summer. That was also based on my novel, Paranoia. They were, they're different experiences, but no matter what, having a movie made out of your book is kind of cool and kind of weird. It must be 
very surreal. It I is would surreal. I mean, I remember sitting in my office making up this scene in a courtroom. I had it all designed in my head. And then I arrive on the set of the movie High Crimes, and they've reproduced that exact set, exactly the way I described it. Oh, wow. So that's, that's sort of like stepping into your own book, sort yeah, of. Yeah, it's like there's, there's this, I always think of this drawing by M.C. Escher of a hand drawing a hand drawing a hand, mm. sort of infinitely recursive. So yeah. it was kind of interesting that way to sort of see what they were doing with my story. It's also, you know, it's different. The, the, a, a book and a movie have to be different. You know, a book, right. a book is 400 pages long, a script is 120 pages, double space, a lot of white space. Yeah. So they have to cut out a lot. But as an author, it's kind of, it can be painful to look yeah. at it and say, wait, I like that character. What are you doing? Stop. Mm -hmm. I assume you probably have to let let a lot of it go and let them yeah. just do their thing yeah, with it. You pretty much have to do that. It was made easier for me with high crimes because they gave me a cameo, so I got to be... I played a military <laughs> prosecutor, oh, okay. and, and I basically my job was to glare at Morgan Freeman. And I sort of sat in the, in the courtroom for five days of shooting, just glaring at him whenever he spoke. And... Uh, uh, and in fact, in the movie, I beat him up. I beat up Morgan Freeman, but really? but not actually me. It's a body double. Oh, someone else who did it. Oh, like a stunt person. Right, yeah. someone who <laughs> would actually do it without actually hurting Morgan Freeman. <laughs> so, so that was a pretty cool experience. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Wow, very interesting. Yeah. And um, now I know you said you We've been talking about Thriller Fest, which we're at now, and that you, you've come here every year since the beginning. How has it changed? Yeah. It's just gotten bigger and better. It really has. But from the beginning, it was really great. We had a lot of terrific thriller writers. Wait, and, what year was the first year? Uh, so that was 2004, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. And um, it really started, it was the idea of two writers, David Morrell and Gail Linz. And they brought me in early on to sort of brainstorm with them, but I, I wasn't one of the main organizers of the event. But their idea was, let's get together all the thriller writers in the world, if we can, on one day and one sort of one event during the year to sort of teach classes, work with each other, get in touch with each other. And it, it becomes this sort of really collegial experience. It was really great. Yeah. yeah. yeah very so cool. it's... And it's really popular, and it, it gets more and more sold out each year, or yeah. it, I think this year it was, and, and largely because you take a group of writers who um, are used to working alone mm -hmm. and put them together, and it turns out that writers are a lot more sociable than they're given credit for. Yeah. They actually like being with other writers. They actually like meeting their, meeting their fans. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for speaking with us. This is great. Thank you.